Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Raijin, Master of Thunder. Thunder is a terrifying element, trembling the very earth with its sound. This force is summoned by its master, the demon-faced god Raijin, by the pounding of his great drums. Ever in conflict with his equally fearsome brother, Fujin, Raijin vies for control of the skies above the realm of the rising sun. For mortals, their battles form dramatic storms and devastating tidal waves, but for the brothers, this is just friendly competition. An ongoing tournament to determine the strongest. Though monstrous in appearance and intimidating in battle, Raijin is generous to his faithful, clearing the destruction with lightning to leave fields all the more fertile. War has reached the distant shores of Raijin's island realm, and for the first time he has encountered other gods that claim dominion over lightning, thunder, and the sky itself. Relishing this opportunity to prove dominance, Raijin enters the fray, drums pounding, and his boisterous laugh indistinguishable from rolling thunder. Raijin's passive is Static Crescendo. Raijin gains static charges from using basic attacks and abilities. After gaining four static charges, his next ability will deal bonus magical damage. Raijin's first ability is Percussive Storm. Raijin pounds his drum, sending forth four peals of thunder in a line, each growing wider as it travels. Each peal deals damage to any enemy it passes through, stopping on the first god in its path. This ability generates three static charges towards his passive. Raiju is Raijin's second ability. Raijin sends his ally Raiju towards an enemy, who then hides in the enemy's navel. While asleep, Raiju reveals the target to Raijin's team on the mini-map. The next time Raijin damages the target, Raiju awakens and claws his way out, dealing damage to the target and nearby enemies. Keep in mind that Raiju will stay on an enemy for a limited duration. This ability grants one static charge. Raijin's third ability is Thunder Crash. Raijin sends a bolt of lightning crashing down at a target location, damaging and mesmerizing enemies. Raijin himself ascends into the sky and crashes down at that location shortly after, doing a second burst of damage to all enemies in the area. This ability grants two static charges. Raijin flies above the battlefield, beating his drum four times to summon four peals of thunder in rapid succession. When in the air, Raijin can choose which drum to beat, each with a different effect. Beat one deals full damage, beat two deals half damage but taunts, and beat three deals half damage but fears. Once you are in the sky, you will notice that his icons one through three change to represent the three different drum options, which allows you to mix it up during a fight. One of the most common combos you will be using on Raijin is combining your Raiju with Percussive Storm. This is your standard burst rotation that will allow you to deal a large amount of damage on a single target. While other abilities can trigger your Raiju, using your main mobility skill or ultimate can place you in a bad spot or waste a powerful ability. Raijin naturally wants to get in close to deal damage as well as land devastating ults. As such, he plays a unique role as a frontline mage, but he is still a mage, which means he isn't as tanky as a normal frontline. Look to position yourself well and only commit when you know the enemy doesn't have any response or you may find yourself looking at a gray screen. Raijin's Thunder Crash mesmerizes any target hit by the initial cast. This is important as this means any channeled ability, as well as many dashes, can be interrupted. When fighting characters such as Anubis, Bologna, or Cheer, being able to stop their plague of locusts, bludgeon, or fearless is devastating to those characters. Be careful when doing this, as this ability is Raijin's only movement skill, and he can be focused when it is down. While a strong Raijin player will use the correct patterns for the situation, there are a few that we can recommend to get plays started. When fighting a single person, chaining the damage beat with the taunt beat is a great way to secure damage consistently. In other terms, once you are in the air, you will click 1-2-1 one, one to pull this combo. 
Raijin is a mage who excels at disrupting the enemy team while looking for chances to burst people down with lightning. Through his ally Raiju, who forces enemies to run away from each other, to his mesmerizing leap, and finally his ultimate, which can taunt or fear a full enemy team. He is a mage who sits on the front line looking to make battles favorable for his team. Look to pair Raijin with characters that benefit off large AoE crowd controls like Hebo, Hercules, or Bakasura. Raijin and his team are fighting Fire Giant when the enemy team appears. Without hesitation, he throws Raiju quickly and ults in at the right time, firing four devastating drum shots for an assist and a kill. Raijin then uses his first ability on Thanatos and Kepri, and finally uses his third ability to get close to Kokolkan alongside his team. Raijin will want to start with Percussive Storm. This is Raijin's best single point clear and will pair well with the next skill, Raiju. After Raiju, look to pick up Thunder Crash for the safety as well as disrupt potential against certain picks. If you feel safe, you can delay Thunder Crash until level 4. From there, you will want to prioritize Taiko Drums, then Raiju, followed by Percussive Storm, and finally, Thunder Crash. Maxing Raiju first allows for the best balance between single target damage as well as wave clear. Raijin is a mage who will need to sit close to the front lines, and as such, requires a more health-oriented build than most mages. Start with Vampiric Shroud and rush towards a Warlock's Sash to begin stacking this item as soon as possible. Next, get Shoes of the Magi and Spear of the Magus for early magical penetration to begin dealing a good portion of the damage. Gem of Isolation is an amazing pickup for Raijin, as he has many ways of triggering this slow, and being slowed next to an angry Raijin is generally a bad thing. Finally, close out your build with Rod of Tahuti and replace Vampiric Shroud with Spear of Desolation to ensure your damage remains high into the end game. Thanks for watching the Smite God Reveal for Raijin.